since the park has been fixed. Sorry, I don't mean to put you up so close. Um, and I brought her down. To find a parking place, you got to pay $20 for parking. And all the other ones are VIP. So that means you got to go online and they have package deals where you have to pay for your parking and you pay for entering this facility. It is a state park. I think our constitutional rights are being violated here. And so on Monday, Shea Bear and I are going to the mayor. Yes, to the mayor. And we pay taxes to be here. And I understand, you know, the vendors have to make their money. Good, that's fine. But you should be able to walk around in there and not have to pay an entrance fee. Ridiculous. Anyways, they say they got some big bands here. This is the first time I heard they said that they did this this year. And last year we didn't come because it rained. And you see it's going to be raining in a few minutes. It's sprinkling right now. So, anyways, all these people paid. Now, I found this area. This is where the depot is. I'll show you. And they got a band, band going on there. And we kind of walked in from the back of there where those trailers are back there and we walked in so I just brought her in here and no one's bothered me so far but the other side is all chained off and you have to go in one way and I found this out by a guy that I parked beside now I didn't pay $20 I got lucky and I found a parking place that I didn't have to pay but I had to walk so and then he showed me the stuff that he had to go online and pay for all this so it's a uh, three day, I think it's like over a hundred dollars. I'm not quite sure on the prices, but just to pay, you shouldn't have to. You shouldn't be have to pay. You know, this was a free event before this park was redone. So anyways, I'm very angry and I'll show you a little bit more after it stops raining. But maybe I can listen to this band. I'm going to get soaked here, so I'm going to have to move her. So, stay tuned. Okay, guys, it rained, so I had to put her underneath the shelter for a bit. They got this band going. <laughs> then, over there where you got to pay, that's a state park, they have another band going at the same time. You can't hear nothing but that crap. So usually what they did, you would have the second park and they would have another band down there. So then they weren't kind of clashing together. So and this one just stopped. So I think, I don't know. Anyways. These are supposed to be big country singers, I guess, that are here, and that's why you have to pay. Well, this is Inverness, guys. This is a poor town. You know, people here are struggling every day to come here, and they need to have a place to take their kids and be able to do entertainment and just have a good day. You shouldn't have to pay all this money to be in a place that you've already paid taxes for. I think it's awful. It's horrible. And it's sad, you know, that what, what this country is doing. And, you know, what we, we, we Canadians, when we came here, and we were very quite proud to be in the in United States. And it's a shame to see it going downhill. It really is. And, uh, you know, Canada's having its problems still, too, you know, and it's not good up there either. It's getting worse, too, so it's everywhere, unfortunately. But if people
people don't start getting mad and start standing up, they are going to take over. And you will do exactly what they want you to do. And I don't think Americans are used to that. And, uh, you know, so. Anyways, I don't want to get into it. It just makes me mad that i got to pay for this part. So. I'm going to finish eating. It started to rain as soon as I bring her down here, but she's hungry. She's trying to eat. <laughs> Aren't you, Ma? What'd you lose? Nothing. So, anyways. It's a little windy, and it's raining, so we probably won't be here long. But, she got the gist of it. Unfortunately, she didn't get to see it when it was all free, and it was really nice. It's a shame. Anyways, I'm gonna let y'all go, and my sister, she's out. Bye. Okay, guys. So, mom and I went up the new ramp that's back here. As you see, where all those cops are doing nothing but standing there and wasting our taxpayers' money. So, anyways. That guy just walked up, and we were way over in the other side, so we just came up, and we just walked right in. But I got a picture of the lineup at the main entrance that people are paying. So I got Shaver to go online to find out how much it is. It goes from $45 to $2,000. And what they did, they put two festivals together. They have the Cooter Festival, and then they have this other band thing going on. And they put them, they combine them together. So that's what they did. Most of them have bands on in here. And yeah, I see people, I think people with the bands on are like 45 bucks. And then you see the ones that have VIP pay a lot more. So yeah. So anyways, we're in here. We are leaving though because it's really not worth it. It's not even worth 45 bucks, is it not? No. No. I mean, there's a lot of vendors here, but not as many as there used to be a couple of years ago. You know, a lot of these people don't know that it used to be free. And, uh, you know, I talked to one vendor over on the other side, and she said that people were going, I don't know who where they were, security or whatever, they came up to the VIP, the, the vendors, and they're asking more money from them to pay $20 extra more than what they've already paid because they don't have the money to pay the bands. That's what she told us. I'm a, yeah. yeah. So, anyways, I just wanted to put this out there that this is terrible and yeah, Shea Beard says this is against the law. They cannot do that and force us not be able to come in here and to charge on top of it. So, you know, it's okay for the vendors because, yes, they have to provide their own food. I get that. No problem. I understand that the bands have to be paid. But the bands are supposed to be paid from our tax money. So that's where they get paid. And if they don't have enough money for taxes here, I don't know. They spend a lot of money on this part. And I think that has a lot to do with it. But I don't know. I don't know if they... They tell me that, well, she, that one girl told me it was her first year here. She didn't even know it was ever free before, so, uh, yeah. I, I think there's not that many people here. Now, the band has stopped over here, but the band's going on across the way a little bit. And we're going to go because it's been raining and she's cold and, you know, she's kind of not happy. <laughs> <laughs> she had been waiting all day for this and it's nothing but crap so they will also have an art festival downtown now I don't you know she asked me if we got to pay for that I said I hope not I said you know most art festivals you just walk around if you buy it you buy the, you know off the vendor you know but to make an entrance fee I don't think so it'll be more downtown it won't be in this park but I don't think people are happy. I think people are not too happy with this event. So, um, and the weather's not that great right now, so people ain't going to come out today. They'll probably get busier tomorrow, maybe. I mean, I don't know. I, I figure a lot of these people came from out of town that are ba are paying the big bucks. Uh, I, I, you know, I, a lot of these people in Inverness cannot afford this. 
you know, it's hard enough for them to get food money together for a family. So, I'm gonna go check this out. anyways, I'm going to say I'm out. And, yeah, interesting for sure, huh? Yeah. So, you had a great time? Well, I got me out of the house. Yes, you got out of the house. <laughs> That's about it. All right, Mucky says she's out. Bye, y'all. Thank you.